Hello, I'm Brett Beckman. I'm a veterinary dentist and my staff and I have spent the last year creating a veterinary dental charting system that utilizes PDF Expert, which is an amazing PDF annotation application and file management system, in addition to Google Drive cloud storage to produce simultaneous backups of our charts as we create them. We have both a canine and a feline version both of which are available for veterinarians and specialists. So let's take a look at how we use the annotation bar on the left hand side of the screen to create a dental chart. We've got several functions there, the first of which are two pens. And if you tap those two pens, you get a series of four different pens that you can utilize to create lines. And each one of these has different functionality as far as color goes. You can change the color, you can change the intensity or opacity. You can change the font and make it smaller or make it larger. And these last two pens are uh, for small font up to three. The top two pens can go up to 18 font. If you want to erase those, you can use the erase, tap the eraser here and erase part or all of those. If you would like to just tap on the bottom arrow, it will erase uh, the things that you've done, either erasing them or producing them. You keep tapping that in order to eliminate those. And then if we go back up here to the check mark, it allows us to visualize all the other annotations again. You go down below the pens and you'll see the T for text. You hit the text, you hit anywhere on the chart, and it brings up your type pad. And you can type as you will and create done. And then type or tap on that itself and you can edit it, you can delete it, you can copy that. Uh, you can change the font size, you can change the colors. Uh, you can do quite a few things with that. So let's delete that. We'll go down to the shapes icon and we basically have four shapes available. We have a square, which can also be a rectangle. We have a circle, which we use to circle teeth, which can also be an oval. And we have a straight line. And again, you can change the, the size on these as you wish to make those bigger or smaller. And you have an arrow icon here. So let's use the arrow icon and we're going to point that directly at our next function that we're going to explain. And this is the one that we use the most often. This is the image stamp, which we've already loaded over a hundred abbreviations that are all American Veterinary Dental College abbreviations, spare a few which the college does not have. And these are the most common abbreviations that we use in every day. So all we do when we're utilizing the image stamps is we tap on the image stamp and we tap on the, the page and those automatically come up. We can resize those. We can move them around as we wish. Uh, it's very hyper-functional and very quick to utilize these. Uh, we've got the nerve block symbol there and various annotations, one for fracture that we use. So those are probably the most commonly used in, under that icon of anything that we have on the annotations function. One other thing we can do is we can create notes. So we tap on the little icon above the stamp, which is a note icon, and then tap somewhere on the page and we can write notes. And then once we are through with that note, it condenses to the icon and all you do is come back and touch the icon which allows you to visualize the note. So that can save space if you're running out of space in a very complicated case. Each of these charts consists of eight pages. This is the first page which is the diagnosis and treatment skull. The second page has room to put history, physical exam, clinical and radiographic co comments, treatment, and recommendations and comments. It also has the arcade cartoon there that you can use to annotate and record pathology as well. 
The third page is a list of the dental charting abbreviations. The fourth page is an anesthesia record. There's also an additional space for the for the annotation of the of the uh, anesthesia record in case you have a situation where you have a longer anesthesia. The next page is a blank page, which allows us to do some pretty incredible things as well, and we'll get back to that in a second. This is the discharge page. And this is the recheck page. Now, if you notice, there are highlighted areas in all of these pages with a few exceptions. And those highlighted areas are where you can automatically fill information into those pages. For instance, if we tap the patient name and we type in any patient name and hit done, that will populate on the other pages, as you see in the upper left corner of all those additional pages. So that's called an autofill function. We also have the date field underneath that. You tap on the date field, you go to today's date on the bottom under September that's highlighted in blue, and you can tap that and it automatically fills with the date, today's date. You'll notice on the bottom where it says patient, Fido has filled there as well, and when we autofill, when we fill these as well. Those are going to fill to the last page on the recheck page, so that's all already filled in for you at the top left so that you don't have to do that when the patient comes in for a recheck. Let's go back to our client information page. This is what we create to show the clients exactly what we did in the procedure. So it's extremely easy to get your images into the iPad and then put them directly into this image sheet. So if we're going to utilize this to add some pictures and radiographs to this client education sheet, all we do is tap that little square up there at the upper left hand corner of the annotations bar, which will highlight that in a light gray with a little blue line beside it. And then we can go down and tap wherever we want that picture to be or, or a close approximation to where we want the picture to be and hold and that brings up a hidden annotation bar. So if we want to add an image, any image that's in our camera roll or our photos on our iPad can be added to this immediately. So we tap uh, uh, photo library and that opens up our camera roll. We can take an x-ray and it tap the x-ray and it immediately shows up. We can resize it, place it, and then we can come down here and we can put some annotations in as well and center those however we like. Very quick and easy to do that. It's also extremely easy to add, for instance, an anesthesia release waiver or an admission form to the eight page charting set. If you look up to the upper left hand side, you see four little boxes next to downloads. You tap that and it brings up all of the pages of the dental chart. If you want to add a page, you go up to the upper right hand corner with the little page and the plus sign and hit that and it will add a page there. You can tap that uh, to insert whatever form that you have that's in PDF format. Let's close that. Let's say that that's your anesthesia waiver and you'd like the client to sign that. You go back up to the rectangle, you highlight that, touch the screen and hold, and go to signature. Tap customer signature, and that will allow the customer to place his signature in, hit done, and it's there, and you can drag it wherever you'd like to drag it. Another function that we can perform with the hidden annotations bar is the addition of a little sound icon onto the dental chart itself. So when the client or the referring vet receive the chart, they can click on that little si uh, sound icon and they can hear a voice message that you've left them associated with the chart itself. One of the most useful bonuses to this system is that we can use our Google Drive account and the free cloud storage associated with it to automatically back up not only our dental charts, but also to export radiographs to a folder on our desktop and have that automatically sync with our Google Drive cloud storage account as well. And then 
Once that's done, we can sync our Google Drive account within PDF Expert so we have automatic access to either, uh, either the PDF or of the dental chart or the radiographs. So let me give you an idea about how that works it's very quickly. Uh, if we go to and tap Network up here at the top left, that allows us to add our Google account, which we take you through when we, in the manual when you, when you uh, buy the system. Cap uh, Google Drive, and you just enter your email address and your password to your Google Drive account, and it will download your Google Drive account, as you see here, directly onto the PDF file management system. Then once you've done that, look in the upper right-hand corner and see the sync text. You tap sync and it will ask you uh, to sync this folder so you're syncing your entire Google Drive account or you can actually just go to any chart that you'd like and actually sync that instead of syncing the whole account. And then that will automatically create a folder in your documents based on that and you can see here uh, the chart templates right in the middle of the screen that has the little sync icon in it. That's the, the sync that we just did and you see the Google Drive icon now appear. That tells you that it's synced and you're ready to go. So you open that up and you've automatically got everything that was in that folder on Drive right there in PDF Expert. Another feature that we set this system up for is to export radiographs directly out of our digital software system into a Google Drive folder and put that directly into again PDF Expert. So this is an example of, of our system that we use and there's a simple menu option up here that allows us to export whatever is on the view box here and you can see we can put it right into Google Drive folder directly as JPEGs and immediately those are synced to the cloud and back to our PDF expert file management system. So there you have a quick overview of the charting system. If you have any questions you can certainly go to the menu icon at the upper right hand corner of the screen. Tap that. Uh, you can go to blog and on blog there are several examples of charting that we've actually used for cases in our practice. There's also a video here of a dog with periodontal disease and how we approach charting one quadrant with extractions and nerve blocks. And um, you tap on any one of these and it'll take you to a page that shows the, the chart and uh, how we did the chart and certainly explains as well what the disease process was and shows images uh, that we placed on the image sheet for the client to take home as well. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Again, click on Menu and in the upper right hand corner and there is a support link there that you see. Just click on that, fill that out, send that in and we'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks for your interest and I hope you'll enjoy using the Chartific Veterinary Dental Charting System in your practice as much as we do in ours. Thanks again.